I'm Scott Hansing, one of the co-owners of Missouri River Brewing in East Helena. I am Adam Hutchinson, one of four owners of the Missouri River Brewing Company in East Helena, Montana. We've been open almost exactly one month now. What's been very interesting in our first month of business is that we have consistently six, seven, eight different beers that are all uh, alternatingly popular depending on the day. I gravitate to the creative beers. It's the beers that it's like when you hear it, you're intrigued to, to want to drink it. You know, a white stout, uh, a heavily vanilla cream ill. Our, our brewing style in the sense that we're aiming for a lot of different variety. We have two different systems, we have three brewers, so we want to be able to maintain the ability to experiment, try different recipes, different styles from all over the country, all over the world, um, and we can brew small, small batches so that we don't have to worry too much about um, taking the risk of brewing a, a larger batch of beer that may not come out the way we want it. We're very particular about our quality, um, so we we uh, are shooting for, for a little bit bigger variety than what you, most people are used to seeing. We are using about half of our malt is local. It comes from uh, the new malster down in Butte, uh, Montana Craft Malt. Give them a little shout out. They're a great crew to work with. Our brewery is unique because it is a collaboration of four guys. It's not one vision, it's all our vision. What once turned into a business move kind of turned into just a brotherhood and a friendship. I think it's all the above. We, ha we have a very different atmosphere than any other brewery in the state, I think. Um, we're getting a lot of compliments on just, just the design, um, the vibe with it. Um, we, we just, we want to have a really cool place to hang out. We also, you know, the variety too, you know, we, it's been interesting as one of the brewers just observing ordering habits of people. I've been in breweries that are maybe well known for one or two beers. And so you look around their tap room and you see those one or two beers on all the tables. But what's been very interesting for me as one of the brewers is when we look around, you'll see if you have one of our high tops of six people, there's six different beers on there. You look at another uh, high top and there's six different beers. So it's really fascinating to me to see that, you know, our, our variety is going out to everyone. I mean, it's just, it, everyone likes a different beer here. So that's, that's really cool that we're, we seem to be hitting all the different styles that we're trying um, and doing well with them. Um, so we're, get, we're getting, that's, that makes me happy to be able to see that we're, because we're trying, we're trying a mad variety that most people don't. So it's, it can be a little challenging to keep the reins on that horse, but I think we're doing okay. I would like to say that our relationship is really great with the other breweries in town. During the build of this, we used to do our work meetings at Crooked Furrow. You know, there'd be times where we would go to 10 Mile to sit down and discuss things. But we've, we've had a number of local breweries that have been immensely helpful for us. I think there is some competitiveness, uh, but more kind of like that sibling, sibling rivalry. It's like, ah, I'm going to outdo you on this one. Um, but at the end of the day, we're always there to help each other. Um, and, you know, if new breweries come in town, we hope to be able to do the same thing for them. I, I personally would like to be known for just really good quality and really good variety. Um, and we're, we would like to be able to branch out and start getting into a little bit of distribution to go a little bit at a time. Um, but we, we would like to be known as one of the breweries in the state that people want to come and visit because they've heard about us, they've heard about our quality. Um, we, want, we want to be that destination brewery that it's a cool place to go see and you've heard so much about. And that's, that's what really, that's what I'm hoping for. I want to be able to say that we always did it right. Uh, that the beer was always fantastic, the establishment was always great, that uh, this company has always treated the community and their staff extremely well, and that at any point in time, everybody should always look at this business as 
a contribution to the community instead of a nuisance.